to show you my bottling process. I buy these milk jugs a thousand at a time. They take up a lot of space in my big barn. So I bring them in here. Another sanitizer bottle. Put sanitizer in the bottles. This is a no rinse sanitizer. It needs to be on the surface for 30 seconds to 2 minutes. You can see it foams all up. I actually put a lot in that one. I've already done the ones behind me. And then, these lids are like a one-use lid, but they actually can be pushed on and pulled back off. And drain the sanitizer. You're careful getting them off so I don't ruin them. This is a aerator for wine. If I can find this, I'll put a link to it. I originally found it at Bed Bath & Beyond and I keep it soaking in sanitizer. This screen is designed to get all the tiny particles out of the bottom of a bottle of wine. And If you've ever had a bottle of wine that's not been strained, you just see all these teeny tiny particles. I've never found anything finer than this to do with the milk. It works great with the milk. It's reusable. It's not disposable. I wash it. I sanitize it. And it fits. Sits right on the top. Wash this off again. Now I hold the funnel up again to keep it from having an airlock and overflowing. This funnel is smaller. And I can't always get them perfectly filled, but I'll even it out in the end. not going to quite get a gallon and a half because I gave some to the babies. So normally I get about two gallons. So this little screen in here, what shows up in here, and I hope you can see this, is all the little fat mod, what do you call them? Um, little, I rub them. And this is basically just like the little fatty plugs in the goat's teats. And this just filters them out. They're not bad to eat or drink. It's just, I do the filtering in case I catch something else. Okay, now I'm going to, not holding a huge jug, top off the top of my milk jugs. And this leftover milk here will be for cooking, coffee, drinking. And I'm using cold water to clean my stainless steel surfaces. The 
one that's not full, I don't use one of the new caps on. Because that way we can open it and close it as we use it. So my system for labeling my milk is quite simple. Today is March 5th, so this gets 3-5 on the lid. I don't worry about the year because my milk doesn't last that long. It's all sold. And now I put these in the commercial refrigerator that chills them very, very quickly. And after three days, anything that's, that I don't sell goes in the commercial freezer out in the garage. So to clean this screen, the handy old toothbrush, and get the edges. And now that I've rinsed, let me make sure I have the milk out of this. Now that I've rinsed all this, I switch to hot water, and it takes a minute. a little tiny mason jar that I set this in with the sanitizer. Now I don't worry about sanitizing this bucket right now because that will be done in the barn. And I put more sanitizer back in this. I'll milk again tonight and use these. Uh, I have plenty more jugs too. And I set that aside. And these go in the refrigerator. Now we're going back to the barn.